what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today's quick episode i'm gonna show you how to update dlss to one of the latest versions on top of the 3 or 3.5 there is a file a dlss swapper file where supposedly it increases performance by up to 20 percent, maybe 40 percent. not sure first time i'm hearing about it i'm going to give it a shot and i'll provide a link in the video description as to where you can get this file and as you can see right here it is on github so i'm gonna give it a shot i'm just gonna download it let me go back let me just hit the latest here is the latest which is version 1.0.2 and you just uh install it download it and now i'm gonna click next i'm just gonna put it in the default folder which is program files it's right here launch it all right let's see what do we have here it says note for multiplayer games while swapping dlss versions should not be considered cheating certain anti-cheat systems may not be happy with you if the files in your game directory are not what the game was distributed with because it is we recommend using caution for multiplayer games i never play multiplayer anyways but for those of you that do play multiplayer games, just take note of that. And what I think is happening here, it's scanning my system for all of my installed games, which is a lot. It's gonna take a while because I have close to 30 terabytes worth of games. So I'm probably gonna have to pause this and uh, I'll come back when it is done scanning. I shall be right back. All right, I am back and I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem to be working. Maybe I'll just wait for another couple of minutes. But as far as I know, there is a library section here where it lists all the different versions of the DLSS. And there's regular 3.5 here. There's 3.1. I'm just going to download the latest, which is right here, it seems, is the version 3.5.10. So I'm just going to download it. And I don't know, you can export it. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to go back to the games and give it a couple more minutes to see what happens. All right, I shall be right back again. Okay, here we are. Um, It finally just popped in. So mind you, like I said, I have close to 30 terabytes, I think, worth of hard drive space. And it's almost filled up entirely with all my games so here are my games it's gonna vary and i guess it's only showing games that are compatible so i'm gonna give it a shot maybe with avatar frontiers of pandora that is the last game that i purchased before that was alan wake 2. i don't know why it's showing two different ones okay it already swapped for the 3.5.10 all right, it shows a number at the bottom. Alan Wake 2 is on 3.5. So let me see what happens if I hit the 3.5.10. Oh, there we go. That's it. Atomic Heart. Wow, it's on 3.1. I'm going to try swapping it to 3.5.10. I'm a little scared too because I have Luke Ross's VR mod installed with this one. So I am I hope it works. But if it doesn't, you can always swap it back to the original. So, okay, I forgot which one it is. I think it's... Yeah, the 3.1.10 maybe, or 1.0. You can always re-download it and just swap it back to its original, reset it or something in case something goes wrong. So, all right, that is it. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. A lot of the latest games already has it. Cyberpunk, for example, it's already on the latest, the 3.5.10. So I'm gonna see if it works. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and also, I will leave a link to the DLSS Swapper in the video description in case you want to try it out for yourselves. All right, let me know in the comment section on what you think, if it worked for you, or if you have any other questions or requests about what kind of videos you want, what games you want me to play, let me know. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.